The search for a missing two-year-old girl in Bartholomew County came up empty-handed once again today. Emma Sweet went missing yesterday after her father was pulled from a truck that was partially submerged in the East Fork of the White River. But his daughter wasn't with him. Today, a coat belonging to the girl was found on the river's banks, but she's still nowhere to be found. CBS4's Max Lewis has the latest on the efforts to find her. Search crews spent another day out here on the East Fork of the White River, just south of Columbus, searching for two year old Emma Sweet. Unfortunately, those searches were once again unsuccessful, but the sheriff says he and his team won't stop until they find this little girl. Authorities in Bartholomew County were back out in force all day looking for any sign of little Emma Sweet. Today, a jacket she was last seen wearing was discovered about a mile downstream from where her father's truck was submerged. We just walked, it was walked up on it. It was hung up on a, on a tree branch that was underwater. John Greider and some of his friends went looking this morning on their own and stumbled upon the jacket. Sheriff Matt Myers called it a key find. We can't say 100 percent, but it's, it's, it's looking more like she probably um, is in the river someplace. Dive teams and rescue boats searched the river today while more than 25 firefighters combed through nearby fields. The search spanning a large area because investigators have received conflicting stories from Emma's father. He first told them he dropped her off somewhere and then said he put her on the hood of his truck and fell asleep. This morning, he told investigators he remembers Emma in the car with him when they went into the water. There's really three stories now. And, that, and none of them match. Emma's father is still being treated at an area hospital for hypothermia. Sheriff Myers says a syringe was found on him at the hospital and their investigation into his actions remains ongoing. We did talk to the family and they uh, indicated that he had some drug usage issues. So uh, that's what we're going with at this point. The river searches wrapped up around 5 o'clock this evening with not much more than they had when they started. The sheriff saying Emma's family has come to terms with the fact that this is likely not a rescue, but a recovery mission. I'm confident we will find her and bring her home. We won't stop until we do just that. The sheriff says he has received a lot of outreach from the community of people wanting to come and help search for Emma. He says he's grateful for those offers, but as of right now, he and his team have things under control. Searches here on the river and on land are going to pick up again tomorrow morning. In Bartholomew County, I'm Max Lewis, CBS 4 News.